Wow, it is really bright outside. <laughs> you can see the shadow on my face, that's how bad it is. And I wanted to talk to you guys real quick because I just got something I'm very excited about. It's my uh, Thunderbolt cable for the mini recorder. Basically what that means is that it's meant for hooking up to the, in this case, MacBook, since I only use Mac uh, since the last couple of years. This thing is really awesome because in theory you should be able to hook up most, if not any, HDMI device and be able to capture it. And I did already try it really quickly with the PS4. It does work kind of, but the problem is we don't have actual video signal that we can't watch. And I'm very excited about the fact that there's like a zero latency in there when it transmits to the Mac. So in theory we should be able to play on the MacBook screen because normally you're not able to do that. But here's the thing. This cable is super expensive, and it's only half a minute. You can see how small the box is. It's not even big enough for my face. It's like looped, like just in there. That's the whole loop. Half a meter is not that long. But these cables are so expensive and hard to find that I was like, let's see if eBay has an option. And luckily someone fairly close by to here had one for sale. We paid like 18 euros for it, I think. Plus shipping, which was not bad. They go for like 40, 50 bucks sometimes. It's ridiculous. And this is a proper Apple cable, so hopefully that should last a while. But the cool thing is we should be able to now hook up any camera with HDMI. I mean, the 7D and the 6D, I don't think have a clean HDMI app, but what that means is that they don't have like any stuff additionally on there that doesn't supposed to be on there. And in theory, the GoPro should be able to be hooked up as like a, a webcam. And I want to try to do that, but I need like an additional HDMI cable because it's not like the big HDMI plug. But yeah, the PlayStation works, so that's kind of cool. I'm happy about that. And at the same time, I'm playing around with uh, the chat because we've been doing uh, some post-chat stuff after we've done the live streams. Yesterday, Sierra was tapping for like 20 minutes with you guys, so that's kind of cool. But in order to have that working, it's kind of important to have the stream still live. So I'm trying to see if I can make the chat work, because my way like in that little corner here, to see if I can make it centered and put like an image in the background so you guys at least know that we're still live, but it's like a post show. We already do a pre-show beforehand, like when I'm setting up and testing things, I usually see like four or five people show up in the chat and I like to talk back really quickly, like, hey guys, setting up and testing things, how was your day, like that kind of stuff. Nothing really crazy, but yeah, this is, I like this, this is kind of fun. I'm actually amazed that my MacBook is able to handle the load so far. Uh, we're only able to stream on 720p because it's very CPU intensive, and even though I have a fairly decent CPU in there, it's not strong enough to handle 1080p, like converting it into, it, and then also streaming it, and also hosting a whole bunch of other stuff. Normally, when you do like streaming stuff, it's ideally used with a dual setup. So one PC is the actual content machine that you create that's linked to a streaming PC that's solely rendering and sending out. That's all it does. Yeah, we, we want to do that, but it's one of those things like slowly bits by pieces, and this is one of those things that should help in the future. Because if we can actually hook up a stream of video content with audio over HDMI, we can just hook it up to either my MacBook or my iMac. And that way we have like a video stream and then like hook up a webcam or used to webcam that we now do in the MacBook like this one in order to be able to be seen. And that seems to work so far for us. So all sorts of technical stuff and trying to do things. It's fun, but it's hard sometimes. <laughs> Mainly expensive. What? No. No. But no, I want to go in. Why? See, he just wants to go in. I don't know. Sarah brought something from the store and apparently I'm supposed to like this. Is that true? So this stuff, I'm guessing, has like this rousing effect, this bubbling effect in your mouth. There is a um, powdered version of this, I think, that is like made for lemonade. We've done it in the US. Well, I've done in the past with taking shots. We've done it with, uh, when was it? I think it was on, on Sarah's birthday week when we invited uh, Press Record, a couple of other people. And we did that. So I'm kind of curious how these, what these do. I don't know how I feel about this, Sarah. Mm -hmm. The taste funny. Okay. There's like a regular like thing outside, but then it starts, it's not the same like those 
Pop Rocks, but it's the similar feeling to that. It's really weird. I like it though. Uh, no, it's kind of over. You Nothing were... is safe, is it? No, you were sitting there, the thing was on top of him, and only the tail was hanging out. Hello? Mister, this is my bag. Are you gonna join him? We'll let me go in there. <laughs> I have no idea how my mom always finds that stuff, but she had like 10% off for DM and I had like a coupon for 4 euros, whatever. So I went to DM, got some makeup stuff like camouflage and a, another brush and I don't know, stuff I just need because I don't bring it from America and it was like, okay, this looks weird if I do it with my fingers and as you can see, I kind of need it because eh. Skin is clearing up, but it's still there. So, and then I came across the hair colors and I'm like, I don't actually need anything, but just in case, because I have the 10% off and stuff, let's just look. And by the way, I pay about four euros here, 390 or something for a pack that cost me like 12 in America. So I went through and I found actually a really cool color, which is like a light honey blonde. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. And then I was like, okay, let's look at the L'Oreal section because that's basically the brand I normally use. Well, well, I was like, okay, that's, that's all nice looking. And then I read the labels, how the colors are actually called. And there was one color that is called, um, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Vikings. A waking ain't normally it's called max like stockholm or scandinavia blonde blah 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 or whatever something like that not viking but yeah you see i had to buy it because i'm making a viking costume and i need the hair color and i guess this is uh, gonna be hopefully cool so it's hopefully less yellowy we'll see i also went to the gym so Still doing good every day. Today I didn't do, wait, did I do? No, no weightlifting today, it was only cardio, but I for once started with bike, half an hour bike, and then uh, on the, not elliptical, but almost elliptical thing, which I love because it's, um, it's awesome. And it tells me I burn a lot of calories, which I think I don't, but hey, if it tells me I am, I don't know, seriously, I don't know. But I hadn't eaten up to that point. I had breakfast, but I felt a bit dizzy, so I cut it shorter than, so I did 50 minutes instead of another half an hour, I don't know. So it was like 45 minutes of cardio today. So yeah, still tracking my food, still on track for today. But that also means I should go to bed now, but I'm still working, so hmm. yeah, I'm kind of numbry, hungry actually. So hmm. should I eat, should I not? If I don't eat, it's better because hey, I might lose some weight for once. Now he's pretending as if he's not doing anything. Just wagging his tail. Hey Finn. Up here, Finny. What's up? More kitty pictures. doing a couple of videos last year and I did a lot of animations in Premiere as you can see and currently I have to open it again and it's importing for ages now and that's the whole project and it has a lot of nested stuff in there it's crazy it's almost 24 minutes long it's 23 minutes I think oh that cheese mm, I missed you so much you're so expensive in America Seriously, I will show you guys, uh, maybe today even, uh, in the shops here, how much a big hunk of cheese is. 
compared to what I pay for in the US. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You'll almost be like, why? There's proof. I'm watching the Hunger Games. Uh, no. I know that you don't allow me to watch it. No. <laughs> you don't watch it? No, read the books. What is you guys' opinion about reading books or watching the movies? Because I honestly really don't care about watching the book or reading watching the movie. The, the exact same thing as I did earlier. <laughs>